So recently, Oli came up to me and showed me one of her drawings that she did on the iPad, and this was it. Oh yeah, Oli is my nine-year-old daughter, and I think for her age, her drawings are pretty fantastic already. So I told her, well done on drawing the picture, and I do my best to be encouraging as a parent. I've learned to praise the effort no matter how good the drawing is. But then as an illustrator and art teacher, I did notice some things that could be improved. So I asked her if I could suggest some things she could do to improve the drawing. And to my surprise, she said yes. She usually doesn't let me teach her because she prefers to explore and experiment on her own, much like I used to do when I was younger. So we looked at the drawing and I pointed out the parts that could be improved upon. The hair is disappearing against the background here. And the colors here are a bit too jarring compared to the other colors. It's like these colors don't fit well with each other. So I asked her and she said that she just used the color picker to pick the colors, like green for the grass, blue for the sky, and whatever color she liked. With a digital program, you can have a palette of millions and millions of colors. And that could result in us choosing colors that look like they don't quite gel with each other. So I taught her what I learned from Stephen McCraney on his Patreon page. Uh, Oli and I are big fans of his Space Boy series on Webtoons. And so this is one thing I learned from him that he probably learned from somewhere else. And I think artists just learn from each other. So to create a color palette with colors that look pleasing together, using a digital drawing app, and I'm using Procreate, I first choose my three primary colors, red, blue, and yellow. There's lots of freedom at this stage. I'm just going to choose a blue that I like, uh, kind of a desaturated blue, a slightly orangey red, and I'll go with this yellow. It looks good to me. And that's our three primary colors. Next, set the brush opacity to maybe around 40 to 50. It's up to you. I would say this simulates diluting real paints with water. I'm using the eyedropper tool to select the yellow, and I'm going to create a secondary color at this spot. Eyedropper the red, mix it with the yellow. It all makes because the opacity has been set lower. This will be my green, mix blue and red to get, ooh, what's going on here? Okay, okay, now I get my purple. Now we mix the colors in between. I think these are called the tertiary colors. But in the drawing, we'll need colors in various tonal values, different lights and darks. So we're going to shade some of these colors with black, lower the opacity. Then in the same way, choose any of these colors and mix them with black. We need these darker colors so we can control what stands out in the drawing and what recedes into the background using contrast. Now I'm creating the really light colors. Remember that every color in your paint box can be made super light or super dark. And the next thing I want to do is get a brush that can do solid areas. Make sure the opacity is 100% again and clean up the edges of these circles. This is important for what we're going to do next. Now, as you can see, all the colors seem to look good with each other, like they belong to the same family. Because all of these colors this time came out from the same three primary colors. Now, this is a cool part. Save this image into your photos. Open the color palette panel. Press this plus sign on top. Choose new from photos. Click on the image you just saved. And now you have a new cool color palette created from all the colors you had in your image. But don't make too many colors because there's limited space in the palette. Okay, so now I'm just going to do a random drawing and we can see how nicely the colors work with each other. So what do you think? So after teaching her this, Oli created her own color palette and these are how her drawings look like now. Here I pointed out to her that these two parts were bigger areas of higher contrast. Did she want to draw people's attention there? So she adjusted it like this. This made the face and the overall body stand out better against the lesser important things. And here's another. So now you know how to put together a palette with colors that look nice together. Go have fun with it. So Oli, so Oli, honestly, what do you think of the new colors? Nice. And 
Who do you think you want to be when you grow up? An artist. Papa. Yeah, Papa. Like Papa. Thanks for watching.